In this video, we're going to derive the angle curve from a perfect complement utility function. Here's our perfect complement utility function. Utility is the minimum of good x or 2 times good y. We want to solve for the angle curve for good x. The first thing we'll do is we're going to take what's in parentheses and replace that comma with an equal sign. So x equals 2y. And then we're going to solve this for y. So y equals x divided by 2. Next, we're going to plug this result into the consumer's budget constraint. M is money income. P subscript x is the price of good x. x is units of good x plus P subscript y, the price of good y, times units of good y. Where we have a y here, we're going to replace that with x divided by 2, making that substitution. And now we're going to solve for x. On the right-hand side, we're going to factor out an x term. And we're going to divide through by what's in parentheses. Let's assume that the price of good x is $3 and the price of good y is $2. Making those substitutions, we get m divided by 4, and that is the angle curve. The angle curve for good x gives a utility maximizing choice for good x as a function of income, holding the prices constant. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to relate utility maximization to the angle curve. So here is our consumer's budget constraint. Consumer has income of $8, price of good X is 3, price of good Y is 2. We're going to maximize utility. So we're going to proceed in a similar manner. We're going to take X, set that equal to 2Y. And we're going to make a substitution into the budget constraint. Doing that, we can solve for Y and we get y equals 1 and if y equals 1 since x equals 2 times y x equals 2 if we were to use our angle curve where x equals m divided by 4 and if m is 8 we see that x also equals 2 so we get the utility maximizing choice here uh, as a function of income holding the prices constant at three dollars and two dollars for good x and good y respectively let's do another Utility maximization. This time, let's increase income to $20. Same prices, holding the prices constant. X equals 2Y, making that substitution into our budget constraint. Instead of 8, we now have 20 for $20. And we're going to solve for Y. Y equals 2.5. And X equals 2 times Y. So in this case, X equals 5. From the angle curve, we could just plug in 20 for M and we're going to get also x equals 5. So in terms of a graph, here's our utility maximization on the left, here's our budget constraint when we have an income of $8, and here is our indifference curve, and we found that utility maximization occurred at 1 and 2, 1 unit for good y, 2 units for good x. According to the angles curve here, if we had $8 of income, here, what we're measuring on the x-axis, plugging that into the angles curve coming across, we see that the utility maximizing choice for good x is 2. And then we increase the consumer's income to $20, holding prices constant. And utility maximization occurred at this point where y was 2.5 and x was 5. So looking at our angles curve then, at an income of $20, plug that into the Angles curve come across, the utility maximizing choice here for good X is 5 units. All right, I will stop here.